Welcome to Real Reviews. This week we got Vice, mm. the story of Dick Cheney with yeah. a spin on it because we don't know how much of it is true. Yeah. <laughs> so it's getting to be that time of the season, Oscar season, mm -hmm. Oscar buzz. And I was a little disappointed. I was a little bored. Yeah. A little disappointed. I don't care, like, America. Like, I, anything in America, I just, to me, it takes a back seat. But I'm here, like, here's the thing. So it's Adam McKay who wrote and directed The Big Short. Yeah, which Wonderful was awesome. movie. That yeah, was an interesting was story cool. yeah. to see because the facts are out there. It shows how like the housing crisis collapsed the United States economy or whatever. Right. There's no two sides of the story. No. So this is what happened. Whereas Dick Cheney, I was like, do I need to see the story of Dick Cheney, the most polarizing figure in U.S. political history? It's like, not really. Yeah. It didn't have the shock value that Big Short had because... I don't know, I didn't, maybe because I didn't follow the housing crisis that much, you know, to know right. what happened, whereas this, you know, I didn't care. Like, there's a few of those moments where I'm like, really, he did that? But right. I don't know if he actually did that, you know? <laughs> and that's exactly what I was going to say. There's a few times in this movie where, you know, he gets painted as, like, the bad guy. And, yeah. I, of course, he that's happened throughout his career. But, I mean, there's certain parts of this movie where, you know, oh, and he leaks, like, in undercover like FBI yeah. agent I'm like is that real because that's, <laughs> that's a bold move that's rude you know it's things like that where I was like I don't know if this is true or not yeah. so it's hard to like you take it with the grain of salt and if you take it with the grain of salt well why am I watching a movie about a vice president it didn't need to be made and another thing that I felt like it made it mad to me I said is this, if this movie was made like four years ago when like the secrecy of <laughs> the US Not government all was that. all you know hush hush you didn't know these things I'm like I'm more, not trying oh, to, definitely have more of an impact yeah not trying to say like in the get too political in the past two years what's been going on like in your face right. you know in the u.s it kind of pales in comparison to the stuff that dick cheney might have done yeah you know what i mean For it's sure. so kind of kind of trump's kind of <laughs> taking the spotlight it's like you call that a crisis yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you think that's bad news i'll show you bad news i don't know like you said it's it feels a lot like the big short because of the director but at the same time if i feel like there's bits of comedy or levity that tries to lighten the mood or they're just trying for a joke and it doesn't land or it doesn't fit and i'm like this it to me it just came off as kind of dumb i was like eh that on top of like i said a lot of this stuff y you know like from like history like 9-11 they wanted to like then they invaded iraq and all this stuff well you kind of figure you see like how that happened but i mean what well, how it's what f 10 15 20 years ago i'm like i don't care like this stuff's already <laughs> happened you know it's just something that to me as a movie didn't need to be done yeah i'll give kudos to christian bale for for, for portraying Dick Cheney yeah. so well, yeah. but is Dick Cheney an exciting character to watch for two and a half hours? <laughs> not at all. No, not really. <laughs> he's basically like a robot. Like you wind him up, and he's like, mm, uh, going. You know what yeah. I mean? Like there's no passion to Dick Cheney. So, but like Christian Bale did it, I guess. He's Christian Bale. Overall, I thought it was meh. A yeah. little boring, to be honest with you. Two and a half hours. I didn't have that punch behind it like the Big Short did. I felt. Yep. I can see why I got nominated, I guess, because it's about, you know, a vice president in this day and age or whatever, you know, controversy sure. abound. <laughs> yeah. uh, whatever, kudos for Christian Bale, but I don't know, you can say this. I was really bored. I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10. Yeah, me too. Everything oh, yeah. that Kurt just said goes double for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You can also find out how you can win a $30 gift certificate to Perkins Restaurant and Bakery. Just go check out our Facebook page to find out how. And you can go there every week and check out their new menu items.